Welcome to the Fiber Ceramics 2 Minute Tutorials, your quick and easy pottery lessons. With any sort of clay work, even carving dry clay like I am, you'll likely need slip at some point or another. Slip is clay that has been wetted down until it has a high moisture content and either a smooth or runny consistency, depending on your use for it. Just adding water to a chunk of clay won't produce slip, however, as compacted clay is surprisingly hydrophobic. So I'll be showing you my method of making slip for storage and later use. First, you'll need a few things. Here are some offcuts from my smooth white stoneware clay. I use three different types of clay, but this is the one that I'm most often kneading the slip with, and it's best to stick with the same sort of clay, or else they could separate during drying or firing. Next, a bag made from thick, heavy plastic. Normal shopping bags won't cut it, and anything fabric will get real messy real quick. You'll also need a rolling pin, a hammer, a jar to keep the slip in, and some water. Start by placing some of the clay offcuts into the plastic bag. Try to get as much cushioning air out as possible, and make sure the top's folded over so the fragments don't go everywhere. Then start hammering. You'll want to be fairly methodical with this. Don't go in swinging and taking out all your stress on it. Tap on the clay till it shatters, then move further along until you have pieces no more than around half a centimetre in size. Once everything's been reduced to fairly small chunks, you can start work on them with the rolling pin. Again, doing little sections at a time is more effective than trying to do the whole lot at once. Shaking it around a bit will lift the larger pieces that still need attention to the top, where they can be shaken to one side and dealt with. Ultimately, you're looking to reduce the clay down to dust, or very close to. When you're happy that you've fairly well pulverised the scrap clay, carefully pour it into the container. This will probably create quite a bit of dust, so try to hold your breath while pouring. Clay dust isn't as bad as some of the minerals potters regularly use, but it's still not healthy to breathe in any particulates. Start adding small amounts of water and working it in. There's probably a cooking analogy here somewhere, but I'm a pretty bad cook, so it's best I don't draw comparisons. At least my clay creations don't burn when I cook them. The amount of water to add comes down to what you want to use the slip for. Most slip used for repair work is about the consistency of whipped cream, and will make smooth peaks when you run a tool through it. As you can see, with mine here, I've got some green algae growing on top. This is absolutely fine and shouldn't be worried about. It adds to the elasticity of the clay, so it's actually somewhat beneficial. In another container, an old sore squeezy bottle, this one's developed orange algae instead of green. Don't ask me why, but again, not something to worry about. I've made this slip a much thinner consistency compared to the other, because it has different uses. There's still some way to go getting my current batch there, but it's well on its way to becoming useful slip. Visit my website or YouTube channel for more articles, tutorials and product reviews.